The Lord bless and keep you, precious family. Today we're talking about Bigfoot and other anomalies, sightings of UFOs, Easter Island and the nice giant, <laughs> and the news about some giants being 100 feet tall and over. People who continue to see them supposedly are marked and they need to become Christians and use the Lord's name because they are dangerous. The Lord began immediately. These are all signs of my coming, as it was in Noah's day. It shall again be in the end times. You can be sure that for everyone you do see, there are thousands more in hiding or masked so that you do not see them. Yes, there will be days when you see swarms of them and disclosure becomes more and more open. You can be sure that there is nothing good in them. They are all demonic vessels, bodies being prepared to take over the world. Have nothing to do with them, children. Once you start entertaining them, you can become marked. Although my mark is on you and it's much more powerful. Still, do not allow curiosity to overwhelm good sense. These things that seem to be coming upon the earth are actually coming from within the earth and are precursors to the havoc and anarchy that is to come. Prepare yourselves by cleaving to me and doing good. All the good you can possibly do every day with every opportunity I give you. Do not miss one chance at making life better for the souls I send to you. So many people will want to know what these are and what they signify. This is why I am telling you so that you can give a good answer. You are protected here, but if you go up higher in the mountains, there are things that you should avoid seeing. All sorts of reasons and excuses will be given for the nature of these creatures, but I want you to remain firm in understanding they are all used by the dark side and inhabited by demons that in the end do not have your best interests in mind. These things are all over the world, Claire, and this is another reason that the earth will be purged by fire. For now, you do not have to deal with them, but be aware of them in the future. Of course, much is known about them from the military and other sources, but those who do not believe in evil have a hard time identifying them as such. Do not get caught up in the sensationalism just know who and what they are and stay in practice with my name and warfare. Lord, is there anything else you want to speak about? He said, yes, beloved. I know the wall of confusion you are facing, and I'm sorry. Your body, radiation, and the many people around you with different activities has left you in the midst of randomity that it's sometimes difficult to isolate yourself from the many opportunities to clear your head. That's one reason why I want to walk with you. Together we will do much better than you feeling like you are alone. Yeah, guys, my problem is once a nature photographer, always a nature photographer. And I can't go for a walk with the Lord without getting stuck on something beautiful and wanting to take a picture of it. Uh, Truly, I want to hold you day and night to keep this disorientation from happening, but I do need you to cooperate a bit more. Getting drawn away by photo ops, etc. I love that you appreciate what I've created so much, but as you know, it can steal time from what is more important. <laughs> so anyway, that was basically the end of his message. I don't know how many of you out there are nature photographers. When you want to go for a walk with the Lord, you better leave your camera behind so you can keep your focus on Him or whatever else. If you're a bird watcher, leave your binoculars behind. <laughs>
The Lord bless you, dear ones, and understand that these very strange creatures that are now emerging from the earth are not good. But you don't need to be afraid. You are marked with the sign of the cross for the kingdom of God. So use the name of Jesus. The Lord bless you.